art geeks welcome to another episode dedicated to books you might like if you're into art this week's book is playing to the gallery by Chris and Perry once again I got this book from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review Chris and Perry is a 2003 Turner Prize winning artist primarily known for his ceramic and and textile works. If you are all familiar with the art world, you will know that winning the Turner Prize is a pretty huge deal. So this is someone who is very much plugged into the contemporary art world. Luckily for us, he's also a very talented writer. Playing to the Gallery is a book about the insecurity and self-consciousness that a lot of people feel when confronted with contemporary art. He goes into the crux of the question, which is, a lot of people are scared of contemporary art. Most people have a very specific idea of what art is and so when they're confronted with something that doesn't fit that mold, they think it's a gimmick and not worth thinking about. Art is actually like any other human endeavor, you can't expect to understand everything right away. All areas of human knowledge can be superficially understood, but if you want to get a better understanding, you have to dig deeper. That is not to say that you won't get anything from looking at art if you just randomly go into a gallery without knowing anything about it. You bring your own thoughts and your own beliefs into the experience of art, and that experience is as valid as any other. But you can't deny that if you know more, your understanding will be deeper. And that is not a comment on your inadequacy, it just means that nobody is born knowing everything. Of course, not all art is created equal, some artworks are a lot more difficult to understand than others. If you don't like something, that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't understand it. You might understand it and still not like it. Or you might love it and another person might hate it. Both are perfectly legitimate positions to have, that's the beauty of art. Okay, so I've been going a bit off topic here. Grayson Perry is a natural storyteller. He writes in a conversational tone that makes this a very easy and quick read. The illustrations are particularly charming and funny. My favorite was this one the map of museum based on the interior of a curator's head. This includes, among others, radical reassessment of modern masters, art we were given by a collector with truly awful tastes, a dozen supremely good examples of famous stuff to give my institution an easy international reputation, and also to sell merchandise at the gift shop vibrant art that working-class people might like, undiscovered, preferably minority artists with dramatic backstories, tiny and representative examples of hot artists' work that we can buy on our meager public funds, huge sculptures that get on telly and feature on travel websites, ideas that sound like the future, and what I wrote my doctoral thesis about. This is totally true. That's not to say I agree with everything he says. For example, he raises the question of whether Aboriginal art can be considered art if the person who made it does not consider him or herself an artist. He seems to think that the answer is no, and personally I disagree. For me it's problematic that someone would have to pass some sort of test to be considered a true artist. No one can really agree on what art is. Then how can you blame someone somebody for not considering him or herself an artist. The very word artist can be problematic. Maybe not all languages and cultures have a word to describe artists the way it is traditionally meant. And that is especially important when it comes to cultures that have been until recently left out of a traditional western art historical canon. But I'm nitpicking because apart from this I really really liked this book. It goes into the problem of trying to define what art is, the ecology of art institutions, the strange workings of the art market, and does everything tongue-in-cheek. So I think this is a good book for beginner art enthusiasts, and if you're an art world veteran, approach it with an open mind. You might find it as funny as I did. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!